Morning everybody. Um, I'm just going to have a pop down to my regular field, see if it's been ploughed yet. I don't know, it's a beautiful day. It's a little bit windy, so I'm hoping that uh, that doesn't show up on this video. It won't here, but it might do when I get on the field. Uh, and I want to ask you advice about something. But first I've got to take you somewhere before I ask the question. So I need to tank up. So let me go tank up and I'm going to take you to a place before I go to my regular field and ask you a question. So uh, catch you when we get... Well, gentlemen, look what's happened. I've come down to my regular land and here, you'll recognise the old plum tree there. Yeah, it's been, it's been ploughed. So it looks like we can get some serious detecting done. So let's get cracking and see what comes up. Alright, so I've only been going literally a few seconds and uh, good start, we found a spindle ball. So that's a very good start, quite happy about that. Next find in that hole there, look. Uh, buckle, steel, it's only steel. Right, first coin of the day, it's not that old. I reckon 1900s, early 1900s, 1930s maybe. Uh, it's a two groschen, I think. Beautiful pendant, absolutely beautiful pendant. Look at that! Look at that! I can tell I'm back on here. How old is it? I don't know. I, don't, I can't see what's on it. I think there's a head on there. Be nice to think that that was Roman. I don't know. But that is beautiful. That will look absolutely stunning when it's cleaned up. That will. Next find: shot, uh, no shotgun cartridge, rifle cartridge probably world war two okay i'm going to do a live dig here got a stonking signal there there it is 15 centimeters hell is that? Wait a minute, it's got a thread on there. There's a thread on that end there, so it's modern. Alright, next thing, which I didn't live film, it's a coin. So, uh, typical, isn't it? It looks like a Kreutzer, that does. So probably 18, it's quite thin, 1800s, 1806, 1812, something like that. Nice little find, I'm happy with that. There's some stuff coming up here, and I ain't even got, I don't know, 50 yards from the car. Jesus Christ, I'm doing really well. Uh, quite happy with that. Another few steps, another coin. I don't know if that's a Reichsfennig, it's pretty new. I think, I'm not sure. It's got what, 20 written on the back. It might be a Reichsfennig, I don't know, or it might be more modern. I'm not good with this stuff. David's the man with coins. Uh, but I certainly no Romans and silver hammers when I see them. All right, got a lovely signal here. Double bell tone. Uh, so I want to live dig this. Okay, so it's out. Oh, come on, baby. Where are you? Where the hell are you? Yeah, what's that? Oh, coin. Oh, oh, silver. I see silver. Silver hammered. Wow, beauty. It's old, that is. 16, 1700s. What a cracking coin. It's in good condition, I think, that. Can you see that? Super job. Okay, my day's really turning into a good day now. I'm really happy. Oh, and it worked out when it did the live dig. Cool. All right, just made this little find here. Don't know what it is. It's something decorative. Uh, bronze. Oh, it might be part of a buckle, I wonder. I bet that's part of a buckle. Wow, that's a nice find if it is. 
All right, guys, I think I've hit the jackpot again. Uh, pretty sure that's a Roman coin. It's bronze. I can't see anything on it much. It's just all clagged up. So I'm going to have to clean that. But I'm pretty sure that that's a Roman coin. All right, next find. Just laying near on the surface. I thought that was another Kreutzer. Uh, but it's not. I think it's a button because, look, there's something on the back there. So, surface fine, nice fine, flat button. There, there. good signal. Now it's out, okay. Good signal, this. Ah, there it is, coin. And again, another coin. It's uh, bronze or copper. I uh, don't know what it is. Can't see anything on it. I'll have to clean this one up to see what it is. But it looks like maybe a, uh, is it a, a two heller or something like that. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's another coin. I'm doing bloody well. I've got maybe 150 meters to go, and I'm at the end of this field. So, what a cracking first run this has been. So let's carry on. Complete pistol bullet there, never been fired, so I don't know what that's from, might be from a Mauser, I don't know, I'm not sure. Alright guys, I've completed the first run, uh, now I've got my back into the wind, uh, when I go back I'll be going into the wind, so the sound quality might not be much good. I thought I'd cracked it again with the silver hammered, but no, it's a little flat button, it's old, that's for sure. But it's quite a nice find. Much prefer silver hammered though. Still beggars can't be choosers, can they? Nice find that. Alright, that uh, wind's picking up. I hope you can hear me. I've just found this little stud or button. Now this is interesting. If you can see it's like arrow shaped, it's not an arrow. But what I think that is, is it, it might be medieval that because it's got a nice pattern on it. Look, look at the pattern on it. You can see that it might be something to do with the buckle that because it's obviously fixed there it's brass or bronze uh, or, or copper uh, very interesting I'd like to know what that is I think it's something to do with the buckle okay a coin don't know what it is don't even ask me but it's modern I think it's not that old not more than 100 years old, I doubt. Right, this is the roundup. I only did two runs today. I did that well, I was that happy. I just wanted to go home and clean everything up. Uh, so I got some really cracking stuff. Uh, and I'm really very, very pleased. So let's start with the crappy stuff, really. Got this old buckle. That's probably 1800s. Uh, this, this is brass or bronze. But it's definitely modern, it's off a machine, you can see that thread on there. Uh, I got this lead spindle wool. Now they, they are anything from um, Roman times right up to the 1800s. So I don't know how old that is, but I would suspect that's older than 1800s. Uh, and if you want to see a description down here, and um, you can read up about it be quite interesting and then I got three shell cases I don't know what dates are on there I didn't really look but either hunters or um, from World War two that's probably a Mauser I'm not sure uh, and then on to coins uh, that's an 1801 Kreutzer so that's 214 years old uh, that's a, an 1879 one Kreutzer this is a, I think Alice said 1923, I think I said it was 1920s when it came up to Groschen. Um, copper coin. This is a 1951, I don't know if that's 20 shillings, but it's Austrian Republic. It's beautiful coin, look at that, uh, and it's in good condition. Look at that double-headed eagle there. Um, that's a five Groschen, really crap, but probably 
World War Two that. Uh, and then just look at this. Look, look, I got this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful silver hammered coin, 1637 or 1617. I'm not sure. Maybe you can see it better there. I will take some stills and put them on. Uh, so ra rather happy with that. Uh, pr pretty sure this is a Roman coin because of the shape of it and everything. Uh, there's a little bit of writing right on that bottom edge there, or top edge, should I say. I uh, can't see anything else on it other than that. But I'm pretty sure that that's a Roman coin. Then they've got these beautiful buttons. Look at that beautiful design on, on that flat button there. No design on that whatsoever, or, or that one. That looks pewter to me. Couldn't tell you the, the, the age on them. I suspect that one might be 17 or 1800, maybe a little bit earlier. Uh, that one might be a, a little later, I'm not sure, and that one I've got no idea. Then I've got these three beautiful pieces here that I um, really, really like. I'm really proud of these that I've got these. This, I'm sure, almost sure that's medieval. Just look at the detail in that thing, look. Something to do with a belt clasp or something like that. I don't know. Uh, it's handmade. I'm pretty sure it's handmade. Just look at that detail. I'll take some photos of this close up. Because maybe you can't see the detail very good. Uh, then I've got this lovely pendant. Now, if the, the clothing that this guy's wearing is anything to go by, then this pendant's, I don't know, 14th or 15th century. Uh, it'd be nice if it was, but it's still got the little thing on there for the string to go through uh, and then I figured out what this was I think this is the end of a belt buckle and that could be quite old too uh, I'm pretty sure that's 1600s minimum maybe 1500s uh, but it's beautiful shame I couldn't find the rest of it uh, and that's about it that's everything I found uh, and only did two runs so what a day I've had cracking day Hope you've enjoyed it.